Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I will show you how we can use the new raster attribute table support in combination with the PC Raster Lookup Table tool. This is work in progress, but I want to share some ideas with you. I have already a raster loaded, and uh, let's install the raster attribute table plugin. And in the settings, you need to check the box to also show the experimental plugins, and then you can find it in the list. And uh, you can install this uh, great plugin uh, made by Alessandro Passotti. And let's go to the layer styling panel and choose their uh, palleted unique values. Click classify, and now I can uh, change the labels. And uh, I would like to make it a Boolean map, so what I'm going to do is uh, change the labels here and have uh, classes 0, 1 and 2 as boolean 0 and 3, 4 and 5 as boolean 1. Now I can click right on the raster layer and choose new attribute table. That's something new for rasters and we choose the GDAL format. And then you get this pop-up to open the raster attribute table or you can uh, use it also from the uh, pop-up menu. And here we see the raster attribute table with uh, the values in the value column. Those are the cell values. And in class, you see those values that we typed as a label in the layer styling panel. So those are Boolean classes. And it also stores the colors. I have uh, kept the colors of the five class. If I would have changed it to Boolean colors, it would also be stored. Then I go to the processing toolbox. And I look for the lookup table from raster attribute table tool. And uh, there we can load the raster layer and save the lookup table to a space separated CSV file that uh, PC raster wants. It will create that automatically. And this is how it uh, looks like in the PC raster lookup table format. It simply gets those two columns out of the raster attribute table without a header. And then in the lookup tool, I can uh, choose a raster layer and load the CSV file that was just created and choose the output data type, which in this case is Boolean and save the output layer. And I run it and here is our uh, Boolean result of the reclassification. So for now, the only thing that is supported is uh, to reclassify one uh, raster layer um, with the table and only the value and the class field can be used. And in the future, I want to uh, make that a bit more flexible. But uh, let's uh, demonstrate another time uh, how we can change now the table. So I've toggled editing mode and I can change now the values here for class. So you don't have to do that in the layer styling panel. You can also just do that here. I toggle it off and click yes and now it's saved. Very similar to the um, vector attribute table. I save it to a new name. And this is then how it looks like. And now I can choose again our original layer with the new table, which is a nominal classification. Just shift the numbers a bit. And uh, there's the result. And it would of course be uh, nice to have uh, those two merged in uh, one step. So when you load the build G raster in this case, that it automatically loads the um, attribute table, like with uh, with vectors, that you can choose the fields with which you want to do the reclassification and then you run the lookup tool. So to integrate that, that will be, uh, that will probably be the next step.